if anything happened to your business if business is running under loss the government or outsiders can take from your personal property also a c corporation is a corporation that is taxed separately from its owners A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sah here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session two and your unit two of corporate tax planning. Under this, we are discussing tax planning for new business. It is a small topic actually. Already we have discussed major thing in the session. One in the session one, we discussed about all your locations like. If the hospital located in the rural area or any industries in the specified areas location are a free trade zone, so these are the things and power as well as your modification of your transmission. Everything we have discussed in the previous session and today we are discussing only four things. That is nothing but corporate forms of your. business it may be sole proprietor partnership company or a corporation so anything so we discuss small small points are there you can expect for 5 rs 10 marks probably for your examination sole proprietorship first one sole proprietorship in the sense one person single person in this the vast majority of small business start out as a sole proprietorship 50% of the business in india it is sole proprietor because normal the people don't trust another one that don't trust their partners that's why and if it is a uh, investment also very small in number then what happens single person will start a business that is called sole proprietorship now vast majority small business start from out of sole proprietorship these business are owned by one person this is point number 1 then usually the individual who has day to day responsibility for the running the business see for everything that person is responsible even though it is loss or profit that individual is responsible sole proprietorship can be independent contract like is individual like if it is a partnership what happens if you want to take any decisions what you are supposed to do you have to take permission from one more person your partner but in the sole proprietor you are the one and only the king and you can take any decisions in sole proprietorship now what are the advantages in a sole proprietor like owner receives all the profit like whatever profit earns 100% goes to him only and profit are taxed only once there is no many multiple taxes are not there cascading what we call it as cascading multiple taxes are not there only one kind of tax owner makes all the decision you need not to wait for others response only owner can take the decision then easiest and least expensive the formalities are if you want to start up a new company too many procedures are not there easily you can start up your company these are the advantages if you go for sole proprietorship uh, what are the disadvantages with this like unlimited liability what is unlimited liability if anything happened to your business if business is running under loss the government or outsiders can take from your personal property also i'll give you example like your from your company i have started new company from your company i am supposed to pay 10 lakh to somebody from your company your company running under loss then what happens the whatever 10 lakh you are supposed to pay the government can take your personal house also they can take your personal jewelry also they can take your personal properties also that is called unlimited not only your company is responsible even your personal property also responsible for all this debt hope you are clear that's why we call it as unlimited now second one limited in raising fund you are the only person whatever you have your fund that much only your investment if there are four to five members everybody can invest there will be huge capital 
and no separate legal status. There is no separate legal status because you are a sole proprietor. These are the disadvantages. They may ask you what is sole proprietor, right? Two to three lines, advantages, disadvantages. Partnership, you know very well, so I'm not going to explain this. If there are two or more persons joined together to start up any business, we call it as partnership. Under partnership, we have agreement called partnership deed. In the partnership deed, all the informations are included. Now, what is the major motive of partners sharing of profit? If that person is, is not sharing profit, that person is not called as partner and minor cannot become a partner. These are the basic things already you have learned in your 11th or 12th or your second POC under partnership accounts. Now, the next one, what are the advantages of instead of sole proprietor, if you choose partnership, what are the advantages? Like easy to establish, same answer, separate legal status you will get, sole proprietorship you will not get, but in this you will get separate legal status. Profit taxed only once. There is no multiple tax. Partners may have complementary skill. Like you are expert in something. Your partner is expert in something. You are expert in manufacturing. Your one more partner is expert in financially. One more partner is expert in planning, marketing. Then what happens? All together your company will grow higher. There, those are the advantages under your partnership. Now. What are the disadvantages or limitations like individually liable for the action of other partner. If one partner does any mistake, the one more partner has to bear his mistake. Out of four partner, one partner is a culprit. Then what happens? The whole business will suffer for that. Then profit must be shared. Like whatever profit you earn, you cannot keep it yourself. You have to distribute it to your partners. Divided decision making. So once if you want to take any decision, if somebody is asking you, can we do this? You cannot take decision. You have to ask all your partners. If they agree, then only you can take decision. Business can suffer in the detailed partnership agreement is not in a place. These are the disadvantages in case of partnership. You learned sole proprietorship. You learned partnership. C corporation now. A C corporation is a corporation that is taxed separately from its owners. Like, like Vidyashram, we can take it as Vidyashram. See, whatever happens, it is not in the name of Rakesha. Even though he is a proprietor, he is the owner. But Vidyashram has to pay tax. In the name of Vidyashram only it goes. So that is called C corporation. It gives the owners limited liability and encouraging more risk taking and potential investment. These are the meaning of C corporation. What are the advantages? Limited liability. What is limited liability? If anything happened to that company, as I told you, the government will not touch your personal property, like your land, your jewelry, your vehicle, the government will not touch. Whatever name in the name of the company, that only the government or outsiders will take. Now. Transfer of ownership, shareholder can sell their shares. Like shares can be transferred from one person to another person. Capital is easier to raise. You can raise your capital easily. Company paid fringe benefit. Right now there is no fringe benefits. So earlier it was there. Tax benefit also there in your C corporation. What are the disadvantages in this? There is a multiple taxation, double taxation. Costly to form. If you the documentation will be expensive, more administrative duties because there are companies means you need to prepare. You want to you are supposed to maintain too many records. Pay corporate taxes at a different times. These are the disadvantages in C corporation. Now, S corporation also known as sub chapter. S corporation offers limited liability to the owner. The sub chapter of your corporation is called as S corporation. S corporation do not pay income taxes, rather the earning and profit are treated as distribution. Like whatever they profit earns, they distribute. The shareholder must report to their income on their individual income tax. And these are the meanings you have for 
S corporation. Now, what are the advantages? Same advantages, limited liability. There is no double taxation in this. Profit taxed only once. Capital is easier to raise and transfer of ownership is easy. But disadvantages costly to form. Stockholders limited to individuals. Required administration, same. Cannot provide company paid fringe. There is no fringe benefits and are limited to citizens. These are the disadvantages you have. I am not going in depth. Why? Because this is only five mark question. They will ask you what is C corporation advantages and disadvantages. Whatever I have shown you in the screen, that much only you are supposed to write for your exam also. No explanation, nothing. Only for your understanding purpose, I am giving you examples in between. But in exam, whatever I am showing you on the screen, that much only sufficient. Now, limited liability company advantages like a limited liability company LLC is a hybrid business structure. Now, directly I'll go to, it is more complex actually to construct or to form. Advantages are most common business structure. Insurance in case of suit, suit means what? Filing case. Separate legal entity, taxed as sole proprietorship, unlimited number of owners. There are unlimited number of owners. If you have taken one share of this Infosys, you also become a owner of Infosys. Now, can be costly to form, yearly administration cost, personal tax liability, legal and accounting assistance is recommended. These are the limitations of your limited liability company. Hope you are clear. Easy topic. You can take max to max 20 minutes to remember all these points. I'll go back to all your previous slides so that you can take a screenshot. Your sole proprietorship and your advantages, limitations, partnership, advantages, disadvantages, C corporation, C corporation advantages, limitations, limitations also called as disadvantages, Yes, corporation, advantages, disadvantages. So these are the meaning actually. These are the advantages and these are the disadvantages. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is your forms of company. Very important for your examination. Easy to remember also so that your chapter U2 or unit 2 is completed. Thank you.